Let's see if it stops at 36. I'm gonna show you how to put it back together. Hey, it's Life with the Box. Today we have the Astro AI car air pump. We're gonna try out. This is the best choice product right now on Amazon. And uh, my tire, as you can see, that one is a little bit flat. So um, I'm gonna try this one. Let's see, uh, spec wise, it, well, it's got an LED light. It's got a LCD backlit display. And on the side here, okay, 12 volt, uh, maximum for 100 watts, 25 liters per minute of inflating speed. Uh, it goes up to 100 PSI. Continuous operating, so 10 minutes maximum of operation. Okay, so don't go over 10 minutes. Maybe I get it overheats. It's got a cable length of three meters. Okay, uh, product highlights. My Miley shuts off once uh, it reaches its preset um, PSI. So that's kind of what I like about these new pumps. Uh, you can set dial in the PSI and once it reaches there, it will automatically turn off. Uh, it's got the LCD meter. Okay, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's see what's inside the box. The element has this table here. All right, so that's it. Okay, so we've got some, a few, some adapters here. The user manual. Thank you card. Okay, so not too small it's not too big so it can fit for example in the corner like that you have a Honda element okay so got three buttons up here the LCD nothing here everything's just plastic and on the top we have two buttons and this might be the LED light in the back got the pump Let's take that out and we have the 12 volt cigarette plug which we will take out as well ah. okay okay so this is going to be three meters long Okay. Alright, let's try to plug it in. Let's see if it works. Okay, so I'm gonna plug it in here. I'm gonna need so in my car we've got the power, which is right here. Okay. And I'm gonna need to turn the car up to aux. Turn all that off. Okay, so we have power. So right now we're at zero PSI. We're gonna do 30, what do you want, 33, 35? 36. 36? All right, 36 PSI. Okay, let's do 36 PSI. And, oh, well, let's just test out the light first. Whoa! Okay, so two is light and one is on. Okay, so let's try it, oops. Problem, problem with wires. Okay. Okay, so it reaches the front tire easily with plenty of slack. All right, try the front wheel. So we go to set at 36 PSI. Currently the tire. Okay, good. It tells you it has 26.5, which is actually quite low. Um, and then we're going to do Two is light and one is on. So let's see if it stops at 36. Okay, it's going up slowly. So 7.5.
It's not the fastest pump. I might actually reach my 10 minute, my 10 minute limit and I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> or maybe we'll find out what happens after 10 minutes. Maybe 136. I do like between 32 and 35. 34? 35 or whatever. I'll stop at the well. It's okay, I do. I'll set I'll set at 36. I'll just stop at 36. Okay, we're gonna wait till 36. Because I wanna see whether it'll actually turn off at 36. Right, 34.5, 35. Let's see if it stops, I'm not gonna touch it. 35.5. Let's see if it stops. Nice. Stops right at 36 where I had it preset. Good. All right, so let's take this off. Let's see if it's hot. Very nice. And then you have the light here. Say if you're doing this at night, and then you can use the light to put the cap back on. Nice. All right, let's do the other tires. Okay. It's getting a little bit hot, so I'm just going to be wearing gloves just for safety. All right, so let's check the other wheel. And same thing, we're going to set it to 36. All right, let's see what this tire's at. Okay, 31.5, press up, and this is a little over, we're going to put this on the floor. Okay, we're at 35.5. So it automatically turn off at 36. There we go. Okay, so the cable is definitely not long enough to reach to the other side of the car. 
and that's kind of expected with all the uh, these kind of pumps so what you're gonna do is just kind of throw it over to the other half of the car and catch it on the other side okay and with three meters of length it's good to reach the other side of the car all right and again i'm wearing gloves just because it's been running pretty hot and just for safety i don't want to burn my hands all right let's see what this tire is at all right 31.5 let's go Now on to the last tire. Also at 31.5. So that was the last tire, doing about 5 or 6 PSI uh, per tire. And uh, I guess that stayed within the last 10 minutes, or within 10 minutes of it. I'm gonna, let's put this valve stem back on. I'm gonna show you how to put it back together. So it is running pretty hot. Um, I feel like the 10 minute timer was more of a, just a safety for yourself because that's a lot of pressure going on for 10 minutes. It will get pretty hot and you don't want to risk burning yourself. But okay, let me just this off the car and put this back, show you how it is. I'm just going to do the reverse of how I got it. So this is the issue with, I mean, this is the problem you have when you deal with when you have wires. But at least you're not going to end up uh, not being able to charge or be able to pump your tire because, for example, if you have one of those um, battery powered ones, which is kind of the issue I ran into previously, I had a battery powered pump and when I needed to use it, it didn't have any charge. So which is why I'm trying this or adding this into the back of my car just for safety. Um, don't really remember how this goes in. Anyways, oh, one last thing. So there are holders here in the back so you could put ladies for this put 
this in the back. That. Mm, I'm gonna run out. Like that. Not sure what that is. And I uh, have a fuse as well, leave them in the car, in the glove box. Okay. So that's pretty convenient. Okay, that wasn't too hard to put back together. And then you're just gonna drop it in, leave it in your vehicle. And you're ready to go. Alright, thanks for watching.